Hello, this is Joe, and I'm going to be playing the game Eden, which is also called Spencer's Four World. This is another weird-ass Vor game. Apparently, this is made by Eden Beyond. It's a weird type of game engine. I mean, the games aren't bad, but they're free, some of them, and not uh, that really bad, some of them. But I would recommend only checking certain games out on there. But anyways, back to this. Apparently in this game you get to create a character like a slime or a dragon or, or whatever technically and actually you get to fight enemies and literally eat them. So to, eat, well, to fight them you just basically click. It, I have the mouse cursor like um, hidden so well, you won't be able to see it. Because I usually keep it off a lot when I'm like recording. So well, Alright. I'm also fighting a go goblin. And you can also like eat and digest them. If you win and you get to like heal and stuff, you have like uh, vitals. You get natural well, skills. These go up depending on what you do. Like, you strength goes up when you're fighting or training. Predator goes up when you eat enemies. Mining goes up when you mine, and you also get fishing. But I'm playing a dragon, which is actually really bad at mining and fishing, but really good at combat and eating it in targets. Yeah, it's a really weird but really fun game. But, but I haven't really got to play it too much, really. I mean, it doesn't have much sound effects except for the eating sounds. The thing to do is you gotta, like, weaken enemies and stuff. Oh, sorry. You gotta weaken enemies and try to eat them. If you eat them, um, you can basically have a chance to digest them next. But you gotta, like, click the option to have to do that. If you try to digest them too fast, you'll throw up. And if you try... And to swallow them when you're really you have low on stamina, you won't be able to eat them at all. You'll you'll just end up spitting them out. So in this, you technically just go around technically eating everything. And those are goblins, which you can read in the text. All right. All right. Let's eat this one. And he's eating. And we're gonna uh, digest them. Digest again. And we won. Yeah. And, and my predator levels four now. The higher it goes up, the easier it is to like eat and swallow enemies. It basically, it works only when you're injuring enemies, though. It doesn't work if they're like, they get like full health or if they're barely damaged enough. You know, like a damage, it should beat the shit out of them. I mean, I've been trying to basically play this, but I didn't really have much time for it much. I mean, other than that, it may look boring, but it's actually pretty fun. I mean. It's weird, but it's actually kind of fun. And my health went up too. Okay, you gotta be careful though. You don't want to get double teamed. It's better to try to like lure one, and over to you. All right. Oh. Okay, he's close to me. All right. Let's try to eat him. Oh, and you can also get eaten by some enemies. Goblins, unfortunately, don't try to eat you. They try to kill you. There are other dragons in the game that try to eat you and other type of monsters. But I only got to the, like, go ache, uh, these uh, goblins right now. I mean, I did find some dragons on the mountain. But they, and, uh, I'll get to them in a sec. I'll fight these guys first. Let me try to eat this one. Because I'm trying to level up a little bit so it makes it easier to eat them. Oh, and also you can, like, host your own game so you can have other people join in on this. On the Beyond Network. But that's only on certain games. That's, that's pretty cool, actually, I mean. Some of these games aren't too bad, but they're not too great either. I mean, it's because people don't really take the time in to work on them, but there's kind of limitations to this crap too. So like, you can't really basically blame anyone for basically the limitations. I mean, other than that, these are actually pretty interesting games. I mean, they're not the best, but they're actually fun to play. There's also this Resident Evil game that I found that's actually pretty fun. I mean, it's a little complicated a little bit, but... Once you figure it out, it's actually really fun. Also, a note to self, usually you're going to be using the number pad to move around a lot. So you can move diagonal and shit. That's pretty much what you want to do. Oh. Okay, my stamina is good. Natural skills. Seriously, I'm trying to take that strength up because I really need to do some damage. And I have never gotten any cash in this yet in the game. I mean, I can take my predator skill up in this, but I never got any cash in this. But technically, it's basically just slaughter and eat everything, slaughter and eat everything. 
Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot to eat that one. Okay, okay, here's the dragons. These actually can eat you. Oh shit, they can do some damage too. Oh shit, yeah, you can also struggle if you get eaten. You gotta like, take thrash around and struggle to get out. But when you get out, you gotta move immediately or you'll get killed. Okay, let's try to kill him. Oh, you try to kill or eat it. Okay, let's try to eat it. Crap, it's not damaged enough. Oh shit! I got I stuck inside it. Oh no! Try to get out of it. Try to get out of it. Get out of it, dude. Get out of it. Get out of it. You don't want to get eaten. You don't want eaten. Oh man. Oh shit! I'm out of stamina. I'm screwed. Oh uh, yeah, if you run out of stamina, you get kind of screwed. Cause then you can't like struggle. And I died. Cool thing is you can respawn and play the this again. So if you like this game, go check it out. It's not bad. It's fun. It's not the best, but it's not bad either. I mean, some of the games on Beyond are actually pretty nice. Some have questions. So this is Joe, and I'm signing out.